Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What? 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 Love and not hate. Come on. Welcome. Okay, to hold on for a second. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? This is Ray Matt from Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. I'm gonna make this real quick, y'all. I'm just gonna do an old Southern fried chicken, North Carolina style. Who knows? This is my style. All right, but it's gonna be an old recipe. The first thing that I'm gonna do, y'all, I got some fat back in this here pan that I'm gonna toss in the oven. I got the oven already set at 350 degrees. And I got some um, chicken that I'm gonna go ahead and wash up. Some leg quarters, three leg quarters. I'm gonna cut these down to just, you know, get three legs and some thighs out of that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna season these things up. And we're gonna have the best oven fried chicken possible. And guess what, y'all? I'm just keeping it plain and simple with some old fashioned roasted chicken um, rice that we could basically just hook up in 90 seconds and then we'll be ready to have a good fried oven fried chicken meal like i say i'm keeping it old school north carolina way southern style i'll be right back all right youtube i got a couple strips of this here um fat back in this here pan i'm gonna go ahead and toss it in the oven i got the oven set right now at 350 degrees <music> Okay guys, I got my chicken cut up, alright, so what I'm going to use to season this up, I got some blackened seasoning, alright, so I'm just going to take some of the blackened seasoning, put it on, and I'm not going to put no salt on it because that fat bat already contains some salt, and I'll be using that grease, and it's just the same that they used to do back in the days, frying chicken up um, in, the, in the country. We're using Lord, pork, pork Lord, Lord, <laughs> I say Lord, Pork Lord, I'm country y'all, come on now. So I got me some blackened seasoning, putting it on this here, and I'm going to flip them. The only thing I'm going to use just for the chicken is the blackened seasoning, like I said, it's that Zatter Ranch. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's that Zanna Ranch blackened seasoning. And just want to season this side up pretty good. And I got some flour in a bowl that I'm going to dredge these chickens in. And I'm going to go ahead and season that flour up as well. So it's going to have some, some flavor to our fried oven fried chicken. There we go. So let's go ahead and season up our flour. Alright, for our flour mixture, we're gonna first put in some parsley. Now 
I'm gonna put in some of this here Spain's spicy seasoning. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of my own little seasoning rub. Like I said, you could use whatever type of seasoners you like just to season up your flour. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Remember, you don't have to add salt to this. I just want to add just a little bit more of something that I created. I will share this on YouTube, all right? But you could just use whatever type of seasonings you want. Alright, that's enough of that. And we just want to mix this up. Now, once we got this mixed up, we want to take our chicken, okay? And place our legs in. And you can also place your thighs in there. It all depends on the size container that you have. So I, I'm using a plastic container. It's a glad plastic container. And it's a nice size with a top. And I just want to shake it. Make sure everything is coated well. Now. While this is sitting in here, I'm just going to leave this sitting just like it is. All right? I'm going to leave this sitting just like it is for at least around about 15 to 20 minutes just like this. I'm not going to touch it until I get ready to put it inside the oven. And I'll be right, right back to show you the next step. So don't go nowhere. All right, YouTube. I got my um, fatback grease already cooked up. Just want to take it out the pan. Snack on this with some bread. Eat this with the meal. And as you can see, we got grit, um, grease and bits and pieces at the bottom. That's what we want. We want some of that grease at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is go to the next step and put our chicken inside. All right, let's go ahead and toss our chicken in, starting with our legs. All right. We definitely have room for our thighs. And this chicken is definitely coated with some flour on it, I mean it is coated well. And we're gonna keep the same temperature at 350 degrees, so whenever you take your pan out, you just wanna leave your oven on at the same temp. All right, now, from there, we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven, 350 degrees, um, and I'll show you the exact process but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thermometer and I want to read out the internal temp of the chicken breast and I want to get a crust on the outside so I wanted the temperature to read at 165 degrees but I will show you that as we continue to cook along so stay tuned I'm putting this in the oven right now y'all let's get ready to make us something to baste this chicken with okay so I got a microwave proof bowl, along with a half a stick of butter. Man, I wish y'all could smell what's going on in this, this kitchen now. I tell you the truth, there's something good going on up in this here kitchen. All right, so I got some dried oregano that I'm adding to the butter. Along with that, I got dried parsley, okay? The next ingredients that I'm gonna add into this, y'all, is my very own house blending, see, house blend, house blend seasoning. You can use whatever type of seasoning you have in your cabinet, but whatever you do, don't put salt to this. Remember, there's salt in the fat back grease. 
Alright, so now what we want to do is just put this in the microwave and nuke it for at least around about 10 seconds after that. Stir all your flavors together. We're going to go ahead and baste our chicken with this. Now, the chicken has been sitting in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Pull it out. You don't have to turn your chicken. You don't have to flip this chicken. I did not flip this chicken at all. So now I'm taking the butter, the butter mixture, just um, putting it right on top of that skin because this is gonna help get that skin crispy. All right, y'all. Definitely, I know you guys. I know, I know, I know. It looked good already, but just wait. It's gonna be fantastic. All right. After that process is done, we're gonna crank up our um, oven for to about 300 to 75 degrees. Or if you wanted to, to speed up the process a little bit more, crank that sucker up to 425 degrees. So after that, after the temperature is set on the oven, we're gonna go ahead and put the chicken right back in, and this is what we got. All right, this is what we got right here, y'all. If you can hear this, crispy skin. This is our southern fried chicken in the oven. And it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and plate up a plate and go from there. Be right back. <laughs> 